good morning good morning guys guess what we are here in Clearwater Minnesota getting ready to have breakfast so let's have a good cup of coffee oh that's gonna wake me right up the nice thing about this place is you actually get a nice coffee yeah how many places do you actually get that where you get a coffee mug right on your table and you can pour your own coffee whenever you need more a lot of places you gotta sit there and wait and wait till you actually get more coffee right not this place here you can get coffee yourself <laughs> and it's nice strong coffee so i like it all right guys our breakfast has arrived so let's take a look on what we're having oh look at that a minnesota omelet and we are going to have multi-grain bread, good coffee, a glass of water. Oh yeah, I guarantee you we're gonna have us a good breakfast. It is time to get on the road, guys. The sun has risen. It's actually already uh, quarter to nine in all reality. But hey, we drove kind of late yesterday. We had about a 11 and a half hours off so I could have gotten there going a little bit earlier I guess I could say but hey it is what it is right sometimes we like to sleep in a little bit especially when you got to edit your videos and schedule your video and all of that takes time right it really does so and then we went in and had breakfast this morning as you guys saw so all of that stuff takes time, right? You you wouldn't believe how much time it takes, you know. Like, turn left on CR 75, and you then go in turn here to a truck stop. You go into some of these truck stops. I gotta be careful how I said it because last time I said it, it actually quit recording on me again. Because <laughs> it's the word STOP, right? yeah so then you go in there and you know sometimes there's a few people in there and then it takes a while till you get your food and all that stuff so yeah everything takes time let's see it says we can make a left hand turn on yellow flashing arrow so should be all right there we go we got 1126 miles to go to make it to Calgary so I should in all reality not have any issues making it there tomorrow that's kind of what I'm thinking but we'll see we'll see you never know something can come up right and things can always change that's right it's a little bit of a cloudy day here in the east, but looks fairly clear up there uh, going west. It looks pretty clear, so it is a cold morning. It really is minus 13 again this morning, so it was nice to have a nice hot cup of coffee. Yeah, woke me right up. Now we're super full and full of energy, ready to go, right? <laughs> yeah, except up here everything looks so dead, right? Not really that interesting to look at, but hey, that's part of my driving, right? My driving is considered up here in the further north where everything gets white in winter time here I am guys cruising down the road and we got beautiful beautiful sunshine today yeah I like it I really like it a lot yep we are now currently in Alexandria Minnesota so we've been going for a little while not too super long but hey I'm giving her a little bit I want to try and make it across the border today that would be ideal that means I could probably make it up to uh, Weyburn I think that's kind of what I'm thinking maybe Weyburn or uh, Moose Jaw but I'm sort of leaning towards Weyburn I think that'd be uh, that'd be far enough for us 
we have gotten all our border crossings set up so we got the message here this morning saying that our uh, pars is cleared too or uh ACI got cleared yesterday already, but uh, the PARS didn't, but the, the, it got cleared this morning. When I woke up, the message was on the Qualcomm there. So we're good to go. We're A-OK. -okay. Yes, indeed. And I like it. It's a beautiful day to be out here cruising along. Make you guys see. Nice sunny day. No snow. No icy roads, especially this time of the year. Can't ask for anything better, but I do see that four-wheeler. He must be uh, playing with his phone or something there. Every once in a while, he's kind of zigzagging there a little bit, right? You see him there going a little bit towards the shoulder, and then he's heading towards the medium, and then, see? Now he's heading towards the medium again. <laughs> yeah, you see that more often than you would believe. Just about every other four-wheeler is uh, texting and driving. That's very, very dangerous, but I see that on more occasion than you would believe. Every once in a while, I'll honk my air horn at them if they do that. I had one uh, the other day in the evening, just past Minneapolis. He was driving in the construction zone. There he holding his phone up here and texting away. I'm like, that's crazy. So I honked my horn at him and he didn't like that idea so he uh, right away cut in front of me and hammered on his brakes. I'm like, dude, you're just looking for an accident waiting to happen, don't ya? Don't you know I got a dash cam up here? <laughs> if you're going to pull that stunt off, it's going to be on video. He could get charged with, uh, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, reckless driving, if you do that kind of stuff. There's all kinds of stuff you could get uh, charged with when you do uh, when you do stuff like that because that's intentional, right? You're, you're intentionally cutting the truck off and slamming on your brakes because that's clearly visible on the video, right? So that's uh, that's a big no-no. That's just keep a close eye on this four-wheeler. I think I'm going to hammer down a little bit here and I'm going to try and get around them. So that way uh, we don't have to deal with them maybe all of a sudden hitting us, right? I know I'm doing 62 miles an hour, but I can do 67. So I'm going to hammer down and just get around them and get away from them, right? That's the ideal uh, thing to do. So, yeah. There we go. Now we're past them. So, we'll, uh, I know it's a lady, but, you know, it can be anybody. The other night when that happened, it was a guy, right? It's just, guys are just as bad as women with texting and driving. But anyways, let's continue on down the road and let's stay safe out here, guys. All right, you guys, we have made it up to Fargo, North Dakota. Made it up here to the petrol. So I'm gonna go ahead and go me inside of there. And they have a Timmy's in here, guys. They really do. Nice little truck stop up here. As you guys can see, a nice little truck stop. They got pretty good, pretty good amount of room here. They do have a blue beacon in here. And so they have a Timmy's in here. They also have a Popeye's in here. So I figured I'd go in here, take me my half an hour break. I'm due for it. So that way I can make it all the way to the border without taking another half an hour break. That's kind of the plan. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's go. Here we go. That's how I look. Oh, ho, ho, man, I'm telling you guys, I'm spoiling myself over here. No, of course, I'm not gonna eat all of these, but hey, I figure I'd get me a few to go down the road. Time to leave Fargo, North Dakota. Yep, we're taking our uh, half an hour break in here now for sure. Now we have seven hours and 37 minutes remaining for the United States. And as soon as we cross the border, we gain that extra two hours. So uh, we actually have uh, nine hours and 37 minutes remaining that I can drive yet today. But I don't think we're going to fulfill all of those hours. I really don't think so. As long as I do another, what, six? So that's seven, eight, nine, 
Yeah, I'd say if I do another six hours worth of driving today, maybe six and a half, I'll be good to go. And it is almost two o'clock in the afternoon already, so uh, hey, that'd be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably eight, eight thirty tonight. I should be done, and that is. I'm not sure if Saskatchewan has got the same time as Manitoba right now because it's been a good while since I've been up there in that area, right? So I don't remember. I know Saskatchewan doesn't change their time. So at one time in the year, they're the same time as, as Manitoba is, right? So uh, I'm not sure if that's right now or if that's in summer. So we'll have to find out. But I know for sure when I get to Alberta, they are uh, an hour behind us, so it's only almost one o'clock over there. So, yeah, so it would be 7.30 by the time I stop, if Saskatchewan is the same time, but I'm not too sure. It's been so long since I've been up there. You guys know that, and uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get a comment below. I wish I would've known you came to Alberta. Well, if you looked at my website, you would've known. <laughs> Because I posted that a couple of days ago already. And this video is seven days behind. So my, vi my, my website is up to date, right? And so, yeah. I also went and uh, created a new uh, Trucker Rudy fan Facebook page. So I have the link in the description below if you guys want to go check that out. You know, I, I don't know. I... I I've never really been a big fan of Facebook. Well, maybe I should reward that. At one time, at the beginning, when, when I got Facebook, I was. But then as time went on, I kind of grew away. I uh, kind of distanced myself a little bit from Facebook. And now I really only have it because a lot of you guys are on Facebook. So basically all I do on there is basically send private messages on Messenger. and. Other than that, here and there, I'll post something, but for the most part, I just share my videos on there, that's all. But a lot of you guys know I love taking pictures, and uh, for a long time, you know, I thought Facebook was a great place to put your, you know, post your pictures, share them with your friends and family, right? And then uh, I, I became more into Instagram. I, I think Instagram is a really, really nice platform to... Uh, be posting pictures if you're into pictures and that's what I am into so I go on there and uh, post a lot of my Instagram pictures on there which in terms they also get shared on my Facebook fan page as well so uh, you will get to see them on there plus they are shared on my website as well as soon as I post them they also get posted on my website so uh, you know, you can't go wrong. If you don't have Instagram, all you gotta do is go to my website and you can see them there. That's as simple as that goes, which is truckerudy.com. And if you're on my YouTube channel, you know how my name is spelled. So it's spelled exactly the same, truckerudy.com. And you can go to my website. I have it linked in the description as well. And uh, so you can go check it out. I post, uh, post where I'm going all the time. and. You know, post here and there, I put a different post up, but I haven't actually put anything up in, in a good while other than where I'm going and stuff, but hey, I do keep that up to date, and I also post my YouTube videos on my website as well, so you can definitely find my videos through that as well. But other than that, it looks like we're getting a little bit clouds now all of a sudden here, and just uh, west of Fargo now, so I'm not sure if we're... Uh, having a little small chance of getting some snow or not but that was my uh, Qualcomm telling me that I got the bypass here for this scale up here so we're okay we don't have to pull in even if they're open that's right all right guys I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes already and this uh, train up here hasn't moved at all so I don't know what's going on but we're sitting there on the 52, we're off the interstate already. Sitting there waiting for the train to move. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but hey. That's just how it goes, that's just how it goes. Oh, I'm hearing it move. There it goes, now it's starting to move. It's about time they finally start moving. 
Yeah, I like it. Now we should be able to get rolling here in a little bit, hopefully. So, let's go ahead and get out of here and uh, we'll focus on getting back at it. I am now in Minot, North Dakota, guys. I'm probably going to make me a little bit of a pit stop up here and uh, just on the outskirts of Minot. There's actually a uh, Fly and J outside of Minot out here, so I'll probably pull into that uh, Fly and hook up there and at least check my lights, make sure everything is still good, and do a little bit of a circle check. And what that means is do a walk around the truck trailer and check everything, make sure everything is a okay, and uh, you know, probably use the man's room. And uh, I'm planning on continuing on cruising down the road, that's for sure. My goal is actually to make it across the border tonight. That's kind of my goal, and I hope I can do that tonight. We, uh, I know we got uh, exactly a hundred miles from here up to the border, so uh, yeah, we got a little ways to go, but we did get a little bit of snow and uh, I think even at times a little bit of ice rain uh, just before we got here to Minot, so uh, that's why you're probably seeing the roads are pretty wet. They look a little bit uh, slick, but right now it's good because they, uh, the salt shaker has been uh, going down the road, although in North Dakota, they don't put salt down. They really don't. They put some sort of chemical. I guess we got a red light up here, so we're going to have to slow her down a bit. I know the GoPro is getting a little bit dark, but oh well, it is what it is. All right, guys, that's just how a look and see how badly everything is. I don't know if you guys can actually see this. This is one covered, this thing is covered in ice. You guys see that? Yep, that's covered in ice. You see that? I'm able to scratch that off. That's why I wanted to pull in here and uh, clean that up. But I figured I would just go ahead and show you guys. Well, yeah, that's the reason why I wanted to pull in here and stop and uh, clean these lights because uh, it felt to me like it wasn't it wasn't uh, as bright as it normally would be. So let's go ahead and clean it and let's get down the road. I have made it now to Veyburn, Saskatchewan, guys. I drove quite late, actually. It turned out to be about quarter after 10. And when I finally got here and uh, I was gonna tell you, one of the reasons why the lights ice up like that, that you guys saw in the previous clip, is because these are not traditional lights these are LED lights and that's what happens to LED lights they don't produce any heat or very little heat uh, uh, I guess I could say and because of that the uh, whole front end there gets a little bit warm maybe but that's about as far as it goes right it's not hot enough to where it actually melts the ice and so because of that there, whenever you have a little tiny bit of heat and you get ice rain it will stick to that surface right and so that's exactly what's going on and but yeah anyways we made it up here to Weyburn that's good that's good we had a really really good day so now I got me a hair somehow in my mold <clears throat> anyways we got uh, 840 uh, kilometers to go till we get to Calgary and uh, we're planning on doing that tomorrow so we should be in uh, Calgary tomorrow night that's kind of my plan so but anyways we're gonna go ahead and go to bed here and I appreciate you guys watching my vlog today so we'll see you back here tomorrow guys thanks for watching